Thank you very much, everyone. Um, oh, so, no, for <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much. Oh, Can you see the fancy pen that Julio had? He's a fancy man. <laughs> Great, thank you very much. Everybody, welcome to the Kingston Art Commission meeting, February 9, 2023. Uh, we have Commissioner Julio Nazario, Board Mains, Lisa Chelli, Isabel Cotarello, and DJ Bernosferro, and myself here uh, visiting. We have always our director, Keith Potter, and Mr. Mr. Richard Provost, notable citizen of the city of Kingston, <laughs> and advisor. An advisor for the committee. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with the agenda. Did you have time, guys, to read the minutes from last month? They were fascinating. Fascinated. Okay. <laughs> Any comments? <laughs> Do we need to call for somebody motion for the vote of the approval? You know, I always thought that you need to discuss first and then call for the motion. You call. You, you make a motion first. First. Discussion. Got you. <laughs> Just that I have that dyslexia here. So, any motion? Lisa, you said that we have an emotion. Yes. <laughs> I second that emotion. <laughs> okay. So. I didn't know we had Smokey Robinson. <laughs> so everybody in favor for approving the yes. any comments? No? So say hi or raise your hand. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, good. Any abstention? Anybody against? Okay, so it looks like we have approved the minutes. Thank you very much. The five <laughs> minutes were like really fast. I have anybody. Oh yes. Has anybody heard from Jeremy? I have. I can text him, please. Thank you. Okay, sorry. Oh no, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, okay. uh, the agenda. Yes. Oh, okay. So my other question for you guys: Did you have time to read the rules of procedures? Well, I think that we. Yes. I have one here. What I did. Uh, I think that we included the edits that we discussed in the last meeting. The only point that I have so far that we still kept in the rules of procedure document was the presence of a secretary, but we didn't vote for a secretary. Mm -hmm. So we have two options. We need a secretary or we get rid of that part. Recommendation, we need a secretary. We need a secretary. Yeah. So guys, not everybody at the same time, but that you want to be the secretary in the chair? Yes. Yeah. Okay. No motion. Motion. We have to vote for the motion. Uh, you never. Yeah. Do I we move? I move. That. You move, baby. Okay. I will second. I cannot second. Can I second. Perfect. So everybody in favor? Aye. 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 Nobody against. Abstentions. Thank you very much, DJ. Do you have a second time? Okay, so then the rules and procedures that you receive, the copy that you receive is as, or as is, I don't know what goes first. So any comment? No? Beautiful. We don't have to vote because we already voted for the, for the adoption of the rules. Well, well, what I think what happened was they voted with the changes. Um, with the changes, yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. So we put the 48 hours the I don't remember right now uh, the things, but please, when you have a time, Lisa, if there is something that we discussed that it was not, I believe that we went through all the edits. Yeah, I, as far as I can remember. Yeah, right. And with the minutes, yeah. Beautiful. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, so now, Keith Potter with the reports and announcement. Okay, I just have, and I'm going to go through highlights very quickly. Um, mm -hmm. As everybody must know now that the small business grants RFP has been re, um, released, um, we have ten thousand dollars that we're going to award. Uh, I'm sorry, we have a hundred. A, a million. It's okay. A hundred small businesses will can receive a one-time cash grant of up to ten thousand um, dollars. The RFP is on Engage Kingston. 
Um, just um, for those who are might be listening, um, you can Google Engage Kingston ARPA Small Business Grant Program, and it will come right up for you. Second, we have the Community Events Grants, um, co-managed by Roy uh, Vespor, who is the confidential secretary to the mayor, and myself. Um, $375,000 available. Organizations can apply for up to five 2023 events at up to $5,000 per event for a maximum total of $25,000 per organization. The grants will be accepted. It's open on rolling basis until um, November 1st. And uh, your last eligible date of your event is December 31st. And for more information, you can Google engagedkingston.com ARPA Community Events Grant Program. Beautiful. I'm going to move on. And I, I please <laughs> encourage. Um, How will this... people find out about it? How will organizations find out about this month? Um, well, it we was posted, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah, but that's. Will the, the press release be, be sent out? The press, it was, it was, it has been in the paper. Oh, it has been. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's why I just put it on. Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, Ruth Ann is really busy, but she is creating flyers for all of the programs. Um, and, um, <clears throat> you know, I'll be handing them out all over town. But for the small business grants, galleries are eligible for profit galleries. So please encourage our for profit galleries to apply. Um, we've had a lot of applications so far. I'm getting a lot of calls about the events grants. That does. Um, you know, helping a lot of people. I mean, the, the whole thing, I think the, the comptroller would like to see everybody's application all at once. So if people could just, you know, just plan your year out, mm -hmm. you know, it would help because a lot of these events need Roy to approve your permits and all this other stuff. So if we can handle all the paperwork up front, get you approved um, for both the um, permits as well as the grant, then it's go. Hmm. I will be helping whoever needs help on the reimbursement piece. Just talk to Bill about the reimbursements, how long it would take, you know, we're and how they need to submit the paperwork, right? Yeah, yeah so that's once a good you idea. submit the paperwork, we're pretty um, certain that it would take uh, about a month and a half to get that check in your mail. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. But you no, know, that's the good. reason why people need to come to me to, to make sure you got everything done so that they, it doesn't get, you know, sent So they get the time. Oh, that's the time. Great. So that's okay. good. That's yeah, great. yeah. So me um, or Roy, you know, um, don't want don't want to talk about Ruth Ann because <laughs> she's got she's got a lot of heavy loads. Yeah. I mean she's managing the whole 17 million with Bill. She's also the grants manager of yeah. the whole city. Um, but we we do have assistance, and I'll get to the next one in a minute. Um, now uh, for the DEIA improving accessibility mm -hmm. to Kingston Arts. I told everybody that I was going to be meeting with the tourism director and the um, Transportation Director of Ulster County um, to find out if the UCAT can be run around um, more often on the weekends. Yeah. Um, especially, and when I met with them, I noted um, some of the, you know, I noted the events that attract um, children and families of all backgrounds, predominantly the, the, the uh, celebration of the arts mantra, um, the African Fest, the Hispanic Fest, um, and so when I mean, we started the meeting, I just asked, so what are the events that um, you took, that the UCAP typically supports? And I was told the Huli, the Italian Fest, and the 4th of July. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's because they yeah. attract 5,000 to 7,000 people. But how are we going to get the other numbers up? It because we happen. cater to people who are, you know, without transportation. And what I saw in the master plan was that the tra transportation or the lack thereof is noted about 10 times. It's a narrative. Mm -hmm. But when it came down to the action plan detail, what we don't do about it, it's not here at all. But anyway, I'm taking it up. So, so, Thank so. You. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, that with that, you know, they also said that they have a shortage of drivers 
but you know, pretty much they camp on the UCAT, you know, every weekend um, for all events. So back to the drawing board on that. I don't know, you know, what the solution would be. Um, we don't have the trolley running around Kingston anymore, and I think that these events would draw more if we it have, have the transportation help. It still is a problem. I agree. Kit, events that why? Oh, sorry, Marilyn. Why can't we ask UCAT to just concentrate on one and help, help us to develop it? I, I mean, when you talk about the Huli and everything else, they had years to build this presence. We need to start from square one with the other yeah. ones. And they should be willing to work with us on that, given DEIA considerations. Well, I did, I did say, you know, if you can consider giving me one, give me a uh, celebration of the arts. That's a full day. Mm -hmm. People can get some food, and these classrooms are loaded with all of our partners, and everybody's having a good time for a full day. So it's not as if it's just a couple of hours of a concert mm -hmm. or whatever, whatever. It's a full day. It's a full day. Um, you know, um, what Lisa Berger said that she would help us by putting it on the at least on the tourism page. But frankly, it's like a tease. Like we'll hit, we'll send our flyers around and we'll put it up on on the website, but we have. No way of getting people there. Of course. That is a test. Okay. So it's just a problem I want to work on. Okay. Um, Kate, there the county talked with the director for diversity, equity, and inclusion because that's his work. I don't remember his name right now, but he was in the task force with us to create the DE. Well, I think that is um, S.E. Lewis now. Oh, he left. I'm not sure. I mean, okay. it sounds like her title. And it was um, now made it to an official. It's no longer a position, but it's an official um, post appointed by Jen Hester. And Jen, um, so, yeah. Okay. Well, it was supposed to be his work precisely to try to fix all those uh, situations in the county building, well, with the local government. So if you have Lisa, if you have UCAD, and you have that office, you know, maybe there are more possibilities. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I don't know how it is now with the new county. I did talk to Tyron Wilson. I talked to Frank Waters um, about the transportation issue, you know, and, and again, give me one. And please just go out to Ellenville and pick up a bus full of people. But we still we still have kids, toddlers in Ellenville who are underweight. So are they human, the Human Rights Commission? Kind of do. I don't know. I'm going to meet with um, um, the Youth Bureau. Well, let's get let's get all. Well, that's me. Yeah, together. but Tyrone is the Human Rights Commission. And, and let's right? get all the leaders together and see what we can talk about. As far as I mean, like I said, I'll take one. I'll take one. Just go go get a busload. I'm you know working with you know people out in in, in Ellenville to just see if we can bring a busload of children in for the celebration of the arts. I'll take one. Yeah. Okay. Just, just yeah. Okay. So let me leave you right now. I just want you to know that I am I'm trying. Um, but you know that when they said they have a shortage of bus drivers, it's kind of hard now nowadays to you know get people that want to drive a bus when you can drive an Uber whenever you feel like it. And when you go home, you just check out and go home. And this is this is making it difficult for school bus drivers and other, you know, I'm hearing that. So but anyway, um the we're yeah. working on upgrading the present um website. Um and these notes you see that um uh, it may be that um some ARPA funds might be um able, I might be able to tap into them to pay for an intern for my office to help to upgrade the arts, and culture, and heritage. Thank you. The um, part of the website, because ours is the most difficult. <laughs> you know, we have, we have a calendar to deal with. We have listings of creatives by category. Um, we have a lot of different action things as far as the history section is concerned. Yeah. Um, you know the, the layout of the current website. It's like a it's like a salad bar. Toss it up and see where the yeah. olive falls. Kid, but if you grade only the part related to to your direction uh, division or department, it's going to be host in the same website or is a different one? Because the problem is okay. It's this. It's the same. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know so how much you can improve whatever it is right now. You know, sometimes yeah. you need to, okay. Because it may be gum or something. Um, <laughs> it's, it's from the 90s. Or but something anyway, like we're, we're you know, going to um, upgrade and, and reposition things in gotcha. the existing okay. format. Um, I'll do everything I can once we get my intern in to give it a better look. Um, because the way it's split, it's it's splattered. It's it's just yeah, it's, it's not functional. Um, now um, things are revealed. Looking back, just a greeting and fellowshipping is tonight at six thirty. Um, Kyle um, was kind enough to set up a screen so that Pat Jow can zoom in from California and um, mute it. German Heinz, uh, she's abroad, so she can, if she could get in at this time, um, she's going to try. We're going to have um, shrimp and cheese, and it's not like you stand up and you talk about your art, unless you want to. I have specifically asked Pablo to talk about Black Madonna, because so many people, you know, ask about that one in particular, and, um, you know, anyone else that really wants to talk about their art, but primarily just because we did not get to have this you know, camaraderie yeah. and fellowship because we were so mobbed during the Kingston Reveal and um, opening that, you know, it's particular for them to be able to spend time together. It will be recorded, um, but, you know, pretty much you cool. know, the visit. So um, the loan agreement, Ward is helping me on a loan and donation agreement, which will become part of our public art policy. And pretty much, you know, we're, we're not going to just leave it wide open. You know, for artists that want to, at the end of this exhibition, take their art, they can. Um, for those who would like to loan, like Pablo, the, uh, the agreement will state from, you know, this state to this state, okay, and it will be on file so that when he comes to collect it, if I'm not here, there's no problem. And then there's others like Deborah Hines and others, Pat Jow, who are saying they just want to outright donate their art. Cool. Um, and the um, mayor um, confirmed that Pat Jow's um, Ben Wakefall can be on this wall. So I want to move some of this over here so we can hang Ben Wakefall because he deserves a, a, a place on the conference room wall of fame here. Beautiful. And uh, I was just really, really happy about that. So all those who are donating or loan will continue to be on display until we begin our reviews exhibition. Yeah. I will not report on that because we have a chair cool. that will in a minute. And with gallery lighting, um, I still feel like I got enough in my budget to handle it. Um, but I've set aside 10000 for the gallery lighting. And our electrician um, is waiting to meet with Dorsky specialist, um, Prudhomme. And um, they'll get their heads together. Get the recommendation. Because Addie and the city clerk did a lot of work before I got here on that. You know, Addie talked to Shippo. You know, yep. it's just a matter of... You know, making sure either. that it's aesthetically correct instead of track lights and everything, because the electrician said that he feels that he could do something, you know, without having tracks and stuff like that, because that's not going to fly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we can, he has some of this. He just cool. wants to run it by Trudeau. Um, Black History Month in Kingston kicked off here. We were packed. It was a great celebration. Um, I Taylor Brock bought this um, um, moving exhibition of Peg Lake Bates, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. It's now on exhibition at, C um, at the county building. And if anybody's listening and you want to know more, blackhistorymonthkingston.org has the whole entire catalog. I will be uh, finalizing the City of Kingston Arts, Culture, and Heritage series. As you see, we have a whole lot of events. Kate, sorry to interrupt you. Dominique is on the waiting room. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. I'm sorry, Dominic. I'm doing my. I'm sorry, Dominic. I'm doing my report, so I didn't see you. So, um, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm talk. I'm in talks with um, Bart. Is just calling me. It's wonderful to hear from Bart. Um, Frank Corliss, the director of the Bard Conservatory of Music, mm -hmm. we're in talks about doing some pop-up with his students, the, the classical ensembles. Um, and um, I, I've got, you know, a couple of more ensembles on hold, but, you know, I just had a meeting today, a good meeting with Rob Sweeney, and I informed him that the church 
Um, they, well, the, all the faith-based organizations, as long as you don't talk about anything religious, they are, they too are eligible for the events grants. So please, I want to see you, you know, because he's always, you know, doing events. They are religion. I know that they are not going to talk about religion, but they are identifying a different category for the IRS, and they are eligible for other kind of funding as far as I'm concerned. Because just may, if they say that it's fine, it's fine, but just so you know, it's like sometimes happen with the schools and libraries that they cannot apply for certain things because there are different streams of money for them. So this was okayed by the common uh, the corporation council. Oh, okay. So then that's fine. We're good. I'm okay. really happy about that because um, they, I just they, mean that devil's have okay. They, they <laughs> have, like old Dutch church and new progressive Baptist church. Lovely. And there's the other. I forget. Um, the church that's always having events. The Holy, the Holy the Cross church. also have events very often, um, and the Methodists. The Methodists. Well, I, I'll think about it in a minute, but there's another church that has a lot of events going on. They are eligible to apply for up to $5,000. The 10, Methodists. Yeah. You are using them, right? Which, oh, the one in um, Fair and Fair. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. yeah. We're, They're we're, eligible. We're, oh, really? Yes, they mm -hmm. are. As if long they, they, so as long they, as they don't open the Bible, it's good. Gotcha. Okay. So okay. if they're holding an event themselves or if someone is holding an event? Well, um, they will get out. Okay. If somebody wants to hold an event and they want to apply for it, fine. If they want to apply, they're eligible. Okay. <laughs> Please. About them. Please. That's good. Yeah, that's so, good. so in talks that with uh, Pastor Rob at Old Dutch, mm -hmm. um, you know, his, he's so creative that he said, well, you know what, we have this lovely organ. How about an organ recital on Saturdays after the farmer's market? Thank you. Oh, that sounds um, really good. And how about Jazz Vespers on Friday nights, so a Jazz Vesper series in the mm -hmm. fall or the winter, like um, Howland does. Howland in the winter mm -hmm. does a piano series. So he's clicking now. Um, you know, we, we have very sad people, we have very angry people right now. So it's my goal to have music everywhere. As 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 much as as long as I can breathe, I'm gonna put music everywhere and I'm encouraging and I know that this is only three hundred and seventy-five dollars and I know it's temporary. Well, but, the, but it's my yeah. hope that we build this momentum. Yeah. And we get people packing the organ recitals and packing, you know, everybody's events. Then that the sponsors will say, "We got you after the ARPA is done in 2026." Mm -hmm. So, so you know, I'm, I, again, I will help anybody that needs the help. That's why I'm here. But please do not walk in. Please, you know, it's on the on the flyer. Call Roy or please email me. But somebody was walking in today, and it's like really hard to take walk-ins right now. Yeah. Um, now, who do, I, who do we talk to for uh, questions on eligible funds? For what? For the event. Right? It's in the guidelines. No, there's ones that are missing, not not addressed, that I wanted to know about eligibility. I'm not understanding your question. I'm just wondering, is it you that I talk to or Roy about the eligible use of funds? Because there's some if it's not listed, listed, if it's not listed, it's not, listed, not, listed, it's not. eligible or ineligible. So it's kind of like, you're, you're looking at, are you looking at the guidelines or are you just yeah. looking at my short notes? Yeah, the guidelines. Okay, so what is what is it for example? I can talk to you later. I just, okay, yeah, because if it's not listed, listed there, then it's not eligible. Right, well, like art supplies for celebration of the arts, you know, like uh, okay. material supplies. Please talk to me. Okay. Um, but things like that. People are encouraged if they don't see it as an eligible expense, um, then people are encouraged to call. We'll take it up the ranks and we'll get an approval. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Great. So I just wanted to select to keep the clock moving because time yeah. flies. Yes. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. So. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, because I thought that we need to leave early. No, I didn't really want to get into it. Yeah. I can move the other the, uh, to close. Um, we um, will be working on an RFI for uh, $10,000. Um, I will be requesting that it's moved over to um, my line item for consultants so that we can get a consultant in to start working on public art policy. Cool. Okay. Okay. Um, anyone who would like to be on that committee, I will welcome. 
And, um, you know, I also um, will be moving a line item over for an intern for 25000 It has to be a um, graduate, a postgraduate. Oh, a paid graduate. intern? Yes. Oh, oh, great. I've already met with um, some organizations that have the infrastructure. And um, so we're going to be rolling great. with that to get some help for not only like I said, come to me. I will help you with your application. But actually, to do but actually, yeah. an intern, I all the interns I've ever had, I asked them to stick with me for a year. You don't get hired because I will teach you everything I know. And so this, it's not going to be a filing and go fetch. This is mm -hmm. going to be grant administration, public art policy, mm -hmm. that interns can be working with that consultant, and of course, event management and other. So um, once it's out there, I would, you know, very much, I have a couple of um, people who, you know, are referring um, some good candidates, but I prefer that the commissioners maybe to um, advise um, the draft of the um, description, Yeah, but also to, you know, really uh, feel, because you know so many um, young people in the community that major in art <laughs> with a big bill, um, yeah. and those are the ones I want. Okay. okay, because okay. it's very difficult, you know, with a bachelor's in fine arts or a master's in fine arts for you to get a job. With some, yeah. yeah. Sure. But I will give them a resume, guarantee, by the time I'm done with them, they will, they will, they will be walking. Beautiful. Out. Okay. So are you going to have an announcement of this that we can uh, yes. forward yeah. on to people? Yes, the first step is to <laughs> help me with the description. So okay. So you'll be getting that next week. Okay. Okay. And also, this is, Ward and I are working, going to be working on the RFI um, for the consultant for public art policy. Good. So we're moving. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Kate, love it. Oh, you had a question. I just had a question. You didn't address it, I know, uh, about the charter, but you're saying that the mayor didn't think it was feasible. Uh, yeah. Not, um, let's work on the policy first. Oh, okay. I thought this was for the department. And this is for the department. Art. Yes. The public, oh. public art policy is going to be in four prongs. Art and public. The policy for the Division of Arts and Cultural Affairs, yeah. because we're kind of like salad bar. Um, uh, the procurement and the handling of the municipal art collection and yeah. funding. So we're going to have. So four. that's first. The policies first, and then the charter. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. And and. Dominica's still waiting. I get let him. Let him in. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I thought that. Yeah. He's in. Tell him to. Um, He's in. Okay. okay. I see him here. Yeah, okay. But, uh, yeah, Dominic, can you say something? Dominic, un unmute your microphone. Yeah. Sharing it. Sharing as well. Hi, dear. There he is. There oh, okay, okay. I was, uh, my video was blocked for some reason. So um, here I am again. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Great. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. DJ has 15 minutes. I'm sorry that I took some long, but it's all beautiful. No, that's good. Um, so moving with the agenda, we have Isabel, uh, update on the YouTube exhibition. Sure. Can I ask a quick question about public, public art policy? Is it going to be a committee? Yes, I just said that. Yeah. You did say Okay, I'm sorry. And I, I'm, sounds, sounds I'm already going right. to, you know, put you in the chair. To help me. <laughs> well, you're not going to regret that. <laughs> Yeah, well, I of these files that Addie saved have Richard Thomas's stamp on it, so might as well pick up where he left off, right? <laughs> so, Isabel. Okay, well, um, first of all, the date of the event changed. Okay. Yeah, so it will be April 29. Uh, that is the day that it's Saturday. It is Saturday, uh, but nothing else is happening in Kingston, so it will be conflicting with any other. Are you sure? Well, I have it. <laughs> oh, okay. So why was there Gala that night? But we'll be done at night. Yes. yes. Wilder yes. also have the Gala. I found that. Oh. Wilder. Oh, they, okay. Are they having it at the one? Um, no. Well, that is the wise. Um, but those are the But they have nine events. So, okay. so, yeah. 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 so our youth exhibition that we call Drone, do you want to say it? Mm -hmm. How we call it? The name? Oh, the, the arts. Um, uh, what is it? Arts Out Loud? Arts Out Loud. Yes. Arts Out Loud. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, that reminds me one of the workshops at the Drone. 
Remember that Well, it was well, suggested by Lara. Yes. Yeah. 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 Y
the piece We're the curious. photographs are smaller and he you know he said well i can have about five pieces and he curated his kids okay. high school will do the same and lara and beth i guess so you're, you're essentially uh, segregating spaces for each of the organizations yeah, that yeah but you're talking about standardizing the sizing too right well we give them a maximum size yeah okay for the, for the entire installation for that yes uh, i mean we measure the walls and we fear that we can put between 20 and 24 according to yeah. with the but 20 by 16. no, no I, 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 I i just i'm so overwhelmed by the thought of how mm -hmm. given your working with so many organizations how you could cut down the number of artworks mm -hmm. you know i mean that they, that, that's why we already <laughs> said that you know it's a limited amount of work that they will you're getting this space you figure it out yes yeah no my problem <laughs> but <laughs> thank you now i understand but but all the organizations will have a place oh yes yes Beautiful. yes yes and um, Sorry, I have to call you, but we need to. That's it. I mean, uh, basically, that's it. Am, am I missing anything? Uh, we expect everybody to come and support the exhibition, and it will be some. No fire. Frank will, will do the, the flyers and the graphics. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Frank will do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it will be a catalog that keep With all uh, the information? Good. Yeah. Uh, we'll take like the, the name of all the students, okay. yeah, the, the program, um, and Kit said that she will print it here. What? The, the brochure? The brochure, the, 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 the program, the program. Yes. Uh, and what else? Uh, well, that's about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And and we, you know, how how uh, as soon as we have the postcards and the flyers, we will be counting the patients. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Everybody was laughing at me. Well, they weren't laughing. They were like, "Go kick!" <laughs> when we had the Black History Month um, mixer, I was saying, "Hey, how you doing? Hi, how you doing?" Which is what you can do. It. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why everybody comes and gives me all their postcards because yeah. they know I'm going to put it in people's hands. Yeah. People that aren't from here. You know, exactly. um, and we can yeah. come replicate yeah. that so, so good among yeah. everybody. Yes, I'm, I'm just so, so Thank grateful you. to you for sharing. Okay. Thank you. Thank I'm you. so glad that you're on board. <laughs> Thank you. Me too. Thank you. Thank you. Right. That's great. My pleasure. So now we have to go with Lisa. Okay. Give us an update, a very short update. Yeah, it's very short. Um, I, uh, I, I recruited IAM to assist me in helping plan the Distinguished Artist Award. The, the Distinguished Artist Award program from Jag, Jaguar Marriott. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I spoke with her this week and um, I have a draft in, in, an email in my drafts um, to Mary, Mary, uh, Jaguar Mary, uh -huh. um, to go out. But I hear she already has an event actually okay. at, they, uh, they, right, uh, at the Broadway Arts um gallery okay. um, for black history month so i just wanted to um i'm going to reach out to them and um they're going to be doing right. if that's a part of the distinguished artist award service then we needed to know about it so we can put it on our yeah um, so i'm gonna i'm gonna so touch, i'll be in touch yeah. with them and and if they wanted it to be a part of that then and good. We'll but i have a question uh they have that event already but that's not the event yeah. for the Distinguished Artist Award. I don't think that is whatever you have a gig and then yeah. you're going to connect it so you, yeah. you, you double it. I think that is something for the city because of the award, not to connect with an existing okay. event. That's understood, um, except that means then it would be something that the city would host. Is that what you're saying? Well, I don't know I'm who will, but 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 is the sign for uh, what did the other ones city? do? Um, where does it do it? Yeah, I mean, you had Lara Hope in Wuhan. Last time we have a concert with Lara Hope, we have an online concert and also they perform here in the chamber. But it was, I mean, it's not that any event, it's just that they did an event for this. Okay, thank you. I, I, I want to get clarity on that. Oh, that's what, what Lisa may need to talk to. Oh, okay. yeah, we don't and that's the only other piece about this when I first talked to Lisa after she um, uh, volunteered to be chair, to chair in this program, period, not just Jaguar. 
Mary Epps, but the program. Exactly. We have a lot of gray areas. There's a lot of holes in the program itself. So we're going to, you know, we yeah. should work mm -hmm. on. To, but this you is, know. I mean, this is interesting, though, because she's a. They. 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 Uh, uh, are, uh, is, are, uh, a, a multidisciplinary artist. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there could be a concert, but there could just as easily not be, and, and they could do something that reflects like a. I'll show you my latest video. Yeah, uh, exactly. yeah. Uh, so I mean that's so, why I recruited Ion because of yeah. the multidisciplinary yeah. quality. Yeah. It's not sure. just like plug and play with them. They, exactly. They yeah. would develop something and no, whatever it is, it's just that, you know, it's like some doesn't need to be grandiose, but it's something that is designed for this program. And also, if I remember correctly, that means that by the end of this year, we may need to go to the process to the next one, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 So we'll, we'll revisit this and talk about the process. Yes. Yeah, but maybe we can have a screening or something, you know, but but that is for the distinguished artist uh, over that. I think it's also important that people know that that exists and that is happening and that's why we're doing it. But yeah. Does that make sense? Which, whatever they want to do, yeah. you know, the, the various disciplines that they work in, right? Yes. Well, yes. We've got yeah. honor and On their skills. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Whatever resonates for them. But, um, you know, Kit and I will be in touch about the scheduling so it works. Perfect. Everything else is happening. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Lisa, for taking on that too. I know that you already have yes. for your place. Yes. <laughs> okay, so moving on. My dear, uh, it's your time to talk a little bit the updates on public art policy, etc. Et well, we already did that, so we can skip that. We did that, but you didn't talk about. Did Ward, do you have anything else do to you add? want to add policy? something to no, I, I, I just, what I learned, you know, there are so many cities that have functioning public art policies, and I've been, you know, looking at them uh, through much of the afternoon. And the wonderful thing is that we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Yes. You know, and uh, we can bring you, and that. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. another city or cities. And like mm -hmm. I was looking at Portland's uh, today, mm -hmm. and and one, and one of the interesting things to me about Portland is they also have a policy for their donations of works of art to the city. Oh, that's and, okay. And, and why not? That's you quite funny. Yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. it, and it, so it, you know it goes into a kind of uh, detail that uh, we you know we don't um, you know we don't have. There's also a wonderful, in case you want to take a look at it, there's a wonderful master plan for the city of Asheville that's online. Yeah, that's the one that it's, you It's said. an old one, but it's still really good from 2008. Uh, so I, I, I think that we just have to figure out a, a method, you know, how to meet what to do, you know, when we uh, when we work on this. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, it, I think it, 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 we should not waste too much time because you know, here the city has has had all this money, and we don't have a percent for art policy in yeah, place. Really and it's like you know, the everything is flo is flowing away without having any way of kind of grabbing mm -hmm. it and, and something for the yeah. and getting yeah. something for the city. Oh, I, and I also always think about the Kingstonian and the fact that maybe this is the one good thing about the that's what is been the Kingstonian <laughs> project is maybe the city can now walk in and say. Time to have public art on that plaza. Awesome. Yeah, so we still have this year to do that. Um, okay. Beautiful. Excuse me, everyone. I have to depart. Kid, I'll touch base with you on the balance of the meeting. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good you night, all. You. Thank you for stepping in. My pleasure. The secretary. <laughs> are, you, are you going to be they? Or... I'm they, yes. So, good night all. Take it. Take it. Cool. Oh, I know, Dominic, you're still there. Um, we still have you for the policy also, for the public art policy. Yeah, no, we never actually spoke about it um, in detail, but I'm happy to take on whatever aspects of it um, that you yeah. all like. like. I just, I think I just need to know what I'm getting into before no. I take on, but yes. Happy to, yeah, uh, but, uh, to I used to have the, uh, the uh, 
I was going to say Ashley. The Asheville um, public art that, that will share with us. So at least to have an idea, because I totally agree, we don't need to reinvent the wheel. We can just see what works for Kingston, knowing what we have, what should be added or what should be cut, and, and start working out. And if you I would try to save as many as I could find, uh, so I do know that. And also, um, the uh, uh, AFA, Americans for the Arts, mm -hmm. has a whole section devoted to this on, the, on its website. Uh, so it's worth uh, touring through that as well. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Is, you know, like a bit research to get some documents and maybe share ideas, and also, you know, we will keep talking about this. But it will be definitely maybe that's why the Gisana has been delayed waiting for us. So that's good. Yes, Lisa. Um, from uh, Kiss Report, what is the RFEI? Uh, request for uh, proposal and uh, uh, letters of interest or expressions of interest. For the consultant work. Okay, that's the next step. Okay, that was the question. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, master plan priorities. The public art policy. <laughs> that's one. Um we I was going through the master plan as it is online. And I was so struck by how um, how wonderful things are stated and how little we've done. Yeah. Um, and uh, and so I, I guess the my question is how do how are we going to you know go about doing the work uh, for this. Um, you know, I was just looking at page three, I think it is, you know, uh, leverage Kingston's network of arts attractions and venues, uh, uh, nurture Kingston's future cultural leaders, arts, artists, volunteers, and audiences, support culture as an engine for a creative economy, attracting and retaining diverse residents. In other words, a, a position culture is an integral part of Kingston overall municipal yeah. responsibilities. These are very high-minded things, but we don't have a a plan. A structure. Well, but for instance, some of the things that you just read, uh, maybe we are not stating them that way, but the work that Kate is doing and what she is reporting also comes very uh, in line with the thing, like paving the way. No, I think we need to say that. I think, you know, we need maybe to, we need to say that, yeah. Say, you know, this, these are the three things we want to do to, you know, to do this in the next two years, making this up. And already we've done, you know, these things, and but we still want to do these things, and so that we can have some uh, look at the master plan, have some um, strategies. Yeah, what do we call it when you throw out ideas? Um, brainstorming. Brainstorming, you know, for how uh, we can execute for new things, and then you know, come to a, con a conclusion about this is where we want to be for this period. This is what we think we're going to do for the future, and refer to the master plan. But it's, you know, it, the master plan is very high-minded and you want to, you know, cry because it's so beautiful. But then, you know, we have to be, you know, very realistic about, yeah. you know, what we want to do, what we think we can do, if we push a little, you know, those kinds of things. Something that occurs to me is that reviewing this priority also, maybe we can add in, in a different document, you know, like, what of those things we are sort of paving the way of doing things that are related to that. Because something that you also mentioned there, I'm not going to say it out loud right now because we are going to an executive session late, later that precisely touched on one of the things that you just read. So I'm so happy that you chose that page as an example. But so, I am happy yes. to put on the record uh, goals that we want to reach this year. I mean, maybe it's just I totally, like, well, yeah. Yeah. that's what I'm saying to add the notes. I mean, we can say, okay, we paid the way for this, therefore, by this year, we're going to complete. Because remember that the implementation plan was the part that we didn't completely but, articulate. But yeah. one of the major things was, you know, the cultural calendar, and we're still. But let me, let me just remind you, mm -hmm. that's why I set aside for you, Lord, um, where the Kingston Arts Commission is mentioned as leaving because the Kingston Arts Commission is voluntary. You just mentioned the two. 
policy and for Center for Art. Let's have that for this year, because that's what I've been saying. If I can have yeah. this year, you got the money for it. push with yeah. that. Yeah, I got a consultant to help us move this too. Okay. You know, so yeah. that you know it's not on all the volunteers. So the consultant can take all of those policies, consolidate it, make a template, and we can start filling this in. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> that would be awesome because this is one of the priorities that the Kingston Arts Commission has mentioned as leading. The other one is percent for art. So if we could just take those two, because like Lord just said, percent for art goes to policy. If, and I was going to say that's in the policy. So let's just yeah. go there. Let's stay there. Because when you keep on mentioning Asheville, <clears throat> let's remember Asheville's commission started in the 50s with one thing in mind. <laughs> <a civic center. laughs> and it took them 20 years to do it. They didn't have a big master plan with all this other stuff. It was just one thing that they said they were going to do. So why don't we just look at the policy? Well, we're going to get into one year. Wait, so what, what is, uh, where are we? Are you going to talk about it later? On hiring a person, or do you want yeah, suggestions? Well, this is what I meant about with the AD drafting the request for uh, expressions of interest. Um, and putting it out to the consulting groups. Oh, um, so, but, uh, you know, for example, I have a person in mind for us. What, what's the best way of we have sharing? To, we have to take the, you know, the bits so they, yeah. so they we'll, 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 so that they can run it, it, run it by Barbara, make sure all the lingo is uh, the yeah. way the city needs to see it, Okay. release it. Once on we it. release it, I know we know people, because I know people too. Good. I know that Ward has somebody that specializes in this. So we get the applications. I don't know if <clears throat> the procedure should be that they present to the commission um, or maybe the committee, Dominic, me, um, or Richard, or? Well, like usually what happened with the master plan consultants is uh, they, they presented a, a, a one or two, a two page, let's say. Right. And then uh, the ones who were we thought were the best qualified came in for the interview. Okay, good. Okay, let's go. So that, but can we have that for next meeting? Can we have a? I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to have um, the draft to Barbara's office so that the Corporation Council can clear it, make sure, you know. Oh, at least the EI is it is it like going to be extensive? Is it just no? It's it's really already done. Yeah. For the you know like 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 Ward says, we got so many examples out there. And um, we've done this here as well. Bartek has quite a few, so basically filling in the blanks. But the thing is, is that determine what are these? What do you want this um, ten thousand dollar person to work on? Um, my take, my first take, is that all those um, samples of great plans is to study all of them for us and to consolidate, go back to the work that has been done already over the last when Addie was here. And you know, consolidate that so that we have that in place. Do we need my intern to um, extend the service for public art and public? I would recommend that. Extend the service. Survey. A survey. Survey of the, you know to the community. For the public art. To, to what, public. what do you want in the, to have in the survey? The input of the community. No, but what, what sort I don't know of, yet. Want to learn? I just okay. think that we had um, the expressions from a small group of people that I'm going to say that lab pretty much dismantled the uh, the whole um, forward moving of public art policy. They have spoken, but we have not heard from the entire community of Kingston yeah. on murals. I'll say it out loud. Um, <laughs> and public art, art in public. So let's let, the, the, let's let the rest of the city of Kingston, we have the other files, let's let the rest of the city of Kingston speak up mm -hmm. by survey or whatever, and let's talk about that. Um, because again, these, these um, models that we're looking at, they all speak to how art is commissioned. They all speak to how murals are commissioned. Mm -hmm. I showed the mayor the, the mural of Harriet Tubman there was a whole lot of people in the city that would, would, were involved in the Cambridge, Maryland commissioning of um, the Harriet Tubman. You have tourists now coming from all over the world to Cambridge just to see that mural. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say it loud, I don't see a lot of tourists coming in here to see a mural of Uncle Willie. So I think that the whole community should be engaged <laughs> as yeah. far as this, and that should be a part of the public art policy. How does the community get engaged in the decision making for monuments? 
um, new art in public, um, the, the art in the parks, whatever. And a lot of these policies speak to that. And also that we should not reduce ourselves only to murals. Oh, no, 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 That was an example. Just I, was just, example. I just wanted to state it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the other thing is commissioning art. My my um, proposal to the mayor, I will propose it out loud because and I will say it out loud. I get really tired of going into the council chambers and seeing two slave owners up there. And I don't see Sojourner Truth. She yeah. wants to us. Why is her? But we have two lyrics oh, that are exactly. ready to go. Right? Yeah. So, so we should, but we have to that. have a policy. We have to have a policy before we can form that tradition. That's true. Okay. And we also have to have a policy that speaks to how we're going to take care That's of That's true. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's what I was saying. We are paving that, but yeah, we may need to add those notes to the master plan so we can keep track of where right. things. So, so, you know, basically with the RFEI, I'm going to draft it, but just I'm, I'm throwing out a lot of ideas right now about what we could have that, com that consultant work on. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, and there are two pages that they propose how they will get this done. Um, again, um, and the intern, we would like the intern to assist with like um, any other <clears throat> young people, yeah. um, because this is paving the way for their careers. If they want to help us, you know, create this policy and Absolutely. also, you know, get out how the patient, you know, so, so they're, well, but, well. I would, I would just like to suggest, and I, I don't tell the commissioners what to do, but I would like to suggest that let's set a goal because this is public art policy and percent for art are the two things listed here. Mm -hmm. uh, I, everything else is Kit Potter. I think but, it's reasonable to have them as a goal at least at least for 20 20 years. Yeah, exactly. into 24. Let's say by 24, we're going to the common we'll council with our public yeah. art policy. Exactly. To, to, uh, yes. Perfect. To make it for a, mm -hmm. for a goal. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, guys, uh, I'm the party pooper today, but we need to close the public uh, side of the meeting because we have to go to an executive session to talk about different businesses and then to leave early because there is another meeting happening and we have the event. Yeah, so, so you've got good time. So if you want to um, have a motion to adjourn. Executive session. Anybody wants to give them a Dominic, you stay there. It's just that we will stop the recording and the, the live stream. Can you tell us, okay, before we do this, uh -huh. I think it's really important to know sure. the progress on the city website. I would um, prefer for Summer Smith to talk about that because I don't have my eye on the whole site. Okay. Oh, um, she can oh, maybe we could invite her. Yeah. To talk okay. about the process and to talk about, you know, um, what the vision is for. That's a good idea if, if oh. someone could come to the next meeting and talk about what's going on with the new website and especially the art and tourism side of the piece because everybody else is just pretty much mundane. You know, what's planning going to say on your city? Yeah. Um, I mean, housing is pretty involved, city clerk is involved, but ours, I think that's the heartbeat of the city and that needs to pop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, can we uh, uh, send an invitation and have over sure. in the agenda? Sure. For I'd meeting. love it if everybody would like that. Yes. yes. Yeah, invite her to the next mm -hmm. meeting. I'm yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we need a motion for the jury. So moved. Everybody in favor? Thank you very much. Okay, hold on now. Oh, that's you. Sorry, Rita. Thank you for calling us We love you. And then I have to stop from YouTube. I think that that's a. I think, you know, here, that 